Hi, welcome back to Let's Play Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. I'm your host, Sim Groom. In the last chapter, we decided we were going to use deceit to do deceit. In other words, we're going to look for Alain Trottier, a French national who has what we need. And we're going to trick him into get, giving us what we really want. So, let the trickery begin. Hey there. Can you tell me where to find Monsieur Trottier? Sorry, no. All right. What about you? Just a moment, please. Can you tell me where to find Monsieur Trottier? Uh, possibly. Who wants to know? Hmm. This guy's suspicious. Oh well. We might as well be professional. I'm Dr. Indiana Jones of Barnett College. Jones, Jones, Jones. I believe I've heard of you. Yes, of course, the famous archaeologist. Okay. Well, that's me. And I am Trottier. Amateur scholar, part-time poet, professional dreamer. There he is. My horoscope told me to find a new path through life tonight. And here I bump into you. Ah, what good fortune. Hmm. So how can we uh, get this guy's trust? He seems a little iffy to me. I've heard you deal in Atlantean artifacts. Aha, my reputation precedes me. I fear being fooled by fakers. To be sure, you are a true believer. Answer me this. When were the many freaks of nature created? Ah, uh, he's quizzing us on uh, Plato's last dialogue. Let's see here. Many freaks of nature. When the celestial spheres were well aligned. Yes, excellent. Obviously, you know Plato's lost dear. Very well, well, monsieur. How can I help you? Let's see. Follow me, and Madame Sophia will read your fortune. Oh, this is a big step. I am not sure. Again. He's not very trusting. Hmm. Number two, I think, is <laughs> most appropriate, but number one is most professional. Come on, take a chance. She's right here in the hotel. Well, I need money. Perhaps Madame can tell me which phase of the moon is best for gambling. The quarter moon. So, I'll do it. Please, lead the way. Have a seat, Monsieur Trottier. Is he here? Okay, Trottier's all yours. Oh, Monsieur Trottier, I am so pleased to meet such an expert antiquarian at long last. Madame flatters me. It is I who am pleased to meet you. Now then. I have to remember this is a very untrusting guy. Let's see. And he's a little pompous. Nurab Sal demands proof of your sincere Yes, belief. we demand it. Well, I have this stone key from the lost city. It should prove my worth to Monsieur Sal. Yes. Very good, Monsieur. Very good. Very good yes, indeed. Monsieur. Now let's begin our communion with that great spirit. Uh, one moment, madame. We've never met before. You could be an imposter. If you really have psychic powers, tell me. Why was I taking a stroll when I first met Dr. Jones? How should I know? Read my mind, or read Dr. Jones' minds if you prefer. I told him everything. Hmm, let me think. Yes, let us think indeed. Now, I'm going to say that experienced players will know that this is not the typical way to deal with the Trottier. But uh, I decided to do it this way because I wanted to show a less, a path less traveled. And what Trottier is going to do here, basically, is um, he's going to quiz us on the conversation that Jones and I had on the street. So if you recall, when we first bumped into him, he said something about his horoscope, so... Your horoscope told you to. Well, well, well. Fascinating. What is my greatest fear? And 
and again on the street. Trottier said fakers, so... You fear fakers. Well, well, well. Fascinating. What is my greatest need? Euros. You need money. Very inspirational. Now then, how many fingers am I holding up behind my back? What kind of stupid question is that? The answer depends on pure chance. Not if you're truly psychic. Don't worry, I won't cheat. How many fingers? Well, all I can do is try a wild guess. Well, yeah. Sophia's right here. Um, you can get this right, but it does actually just... It's a one out of five chance, so I'm going to take a chance on this one. Four? I'm very disappointed, madame. You have failed my little test. <laughs> Don't be sweet. Please excuse me for just a moment. Of course, madame. Uh, can I talk to you, Dr. Jones? Do you know the answers to his ridiculous test? Sorry, I can't remember a thing. Want me to take over? Think not. No, I'll try again. Well, now. Uh, okay, now I'm going to go through the actual way of getting rid of Trottier, but for now, we don't have what we need, so I'm going to send Trottier away. I guess I'm not in tune with the spirits tonight. No, I guess not. Au well, revoir. Maybe we should have done it your way. I'll say, I'm taking control of this team. Alright, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's get out of here. I'm not leaving without Sophia. That would be a good idea. I mean, leave without Sophia. The door is closed. The door is closed. Go through it. Is that you, Jones? Yeah, that's me. Where's Trottier? This isn't working. Let's move on. Okay. We could talk to a collector in Algiers who might know something. Omar Al-Jabbar. Get a cab and I'll join you. Yeah, that's what I meant to do. The game doesn't let you walk out on Sophia. No matter how much of a screwball she can be sometimes. Wait for me! Ah, uh, Algeria. This is the more typical way of doing things. But first, let's experience the local culture a little bit here. Excuse me. Yes? Do you know where to find Omar Al-Jabbar? Yeah, the shop nearby, behind the marketplace. Nice knives. Yes, they were a gift from my father, the greatest knife thrower in North Africa. I'm trying to follow his example. But alas, no one will volunteer to be my assistant since the accident. Three accidents this week, huh? Sorry to bother you. No bother. I just wish a volunteer would step forward to assist me. Hmm. Ever seen Raiders of the Lost Ark, Sophia? Excuse me. What? Ah, Algeria. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think Algeria is that bad. I think you should volunteer to help the knife thrower. No, you don't, Jones. Think about the effect on international yeah. relations. I'm thinking about the effect on my health. Come on, assist the guy, will ya? Nope, nope, yep, nope. Yep, yep. The secret is you have to be you have to be pushy. Do it and I'll let you wear my hat. I'll let you wear my fist if you keep this up. Oh, feisty. 
The man's desperate. He needs your help. Is this your idea of a friendly nudge? Hmm. Please, it's perfectly safe. You never give up, do nope. you? I just think you should learn something about the local culture. Exactly. Up close. You call this cultural? Definitely. I don't know. Those knives look dangerous. Like I said, you have to be pushy with Sophia. Oof! Look here, ladies and gentlemen. A volunteer. But... Now, now, my dear. There's nothing to be afraid of. But... No, nothing at all. Just walk over to the board now. Now! Get over there! Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Thank you for your brave assistance, my dear. Allow me to express my gratitude by giving you this souvenir knife. Here, take this knife before I use it on you. It's a sharp bloodstained knife. Mm. Okay, so we have our knife. We have our cultural experience. Let's go for more. Excuse me. Yes? Do you know where to find Omar Al-Jabbar? Omar, his pitiful excuse for a shop is down the alley here. What looks good today? Today we have a special squab on a stick, only 20 dinars. I wonder if there's a ex money exchange house near here. Do you accept U.S. currency? Sorry, no. Well, a squab would sure hit the spot. Twenty dinars, if any. Maybe we can make a deal. What kind of deal? I give you something, you give me something? That's what a deal is. Last I checked. Here. I'll trade this beautiful knife for a squab. I already have several of those knives. The knife thrower has notoriously bad aim. I've got another offer. Make it. I'll give you my fine leather jacket for a squab. In this heat, don't be absurd. Don't go away. I'll get back to you. Grocery shopping. Heh. <laughs> In Algeria, everything's fun. So I'm uh, running a little low on time, so I will uh, stop it here just for now. Join us next time for in Let's Play Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis.